Hey guys, right now we're going to travel back to Nitro, West Virginia. Didn't know if you knew this, but during World War I, Nitro was an American uh, ammunition production facility. And what that means is they produce nitro powder, hence the name nitro. On the plant, they use these little trains uh, to take things from where they made the uh, nitro powder and they brought it to the storage facility. The city decided to refurbish one of the trains, the only one left of its kind. Being a big fan of trains, I thought we'd go check it out. Well, I didn't think we could just end it with just a, a little train just like that one, so uh, I thought we'd continue our little train day by going to my Uncle Steve's house, uh, who has a huge display of trains. <laughs> Oh, like, the whole town from up here. Yeah. Whole thing. So, Uncle Steve. Yeah. How long have you been doing this? How long have you been working with this train? This now? Yeah. Oh, it's about 93. Case doing the math, that's like 23 years ish. Yeah. It's a long time. So, when are you going to be finished with it? Probably never. <laughs> Does it look so real? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You like the peanut truck. The peanut truck? Oh yeah. Peanut. You like peanuts, don't you? You're a peanut. My favorite train car here. <gasps> Go Niners. What's that? Go Niners. <laughs> Tell me. Tell you what. How'd you get involved in trains? Train modeling? My dad. Your dad? Really? Bought me my first one when I was uh, 11 months old. I don't remember 11 months. You didn't get a American Flyer S gauge train for Christmas? <laughs> no, I never ever got anything. Still that have cool. it. Still have it. Do you really? Yep. There's already stuff that I did that I need to redo already. I got trees falling down. That's lost foliage and stuff. Well, like that's that. the natural process of anything. No, I want to be done. Trees do fall. I want to be done. Well, eventually. <laughs> I needed some new equipment. The GoPro camera I had wasn't exactly uh, up to up to the task of capturing the the cool train. So I decided to get one of these cool little things, a new little GoPro. Uh, what is it called? The GoPro Session. We just thought we'd stick it in a little car and let this thing record all the fun stuff. I'm in a
I'm going to show you a real train. Now, I told you I had some old footage that I never used before. The Durban rocket train up there in Durban, West Virginia. The number three engine, it is one of only three Climax geared locomotives still in existence on the earth. When we went, it was celebrating 105 years of continuous operation. So here we are, the Durban rocket train. Blame the train. It's why I'm always late, it's not me. I do not procrastinate these excuses. Well, they've got to seem quite lame, but I'm telling you, it's not my fault, these darling lame train. Well, I went to get back home to call my loving lass. I was at the railway crossing when I heard that whistle blast. I had to sit and wait as hundred rail cars rumbled past. Blame the train. It's why I never call, it's not me. Cause I'm always on the ball, these excuses well, They've got to seem quite lame But I'm telling you, it's not my fault These darling lame train. headed for tragedy but in fact it's not that way for i took the next train south and i wet her that same day and now here's what i tell her every morning every day blame the train it's the reason that i snore it's not me folks i hope you enjoyed it today if you enjoyed it down here subscribe to my channel at least my wife's watching Hopefully my friends are watching. Is anyone watching this? I don't know. Don't be jealous. The nitro hat. <laughs> Blame the train. It's why I'm always late. It's not me. I do not procrastinate these excuses. Well, they've got to seem quite late.